Well guys, if you did not like the 2022 Toyota Tundra before, maybe some of these renders will change your guys' mind. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I got two things for you guys. The first thing is renders. There's been quite a few renders circulating around Instagram. I've picked my favorite of the 2022 Tundra. They look awesome and maybe it will change some of your guys' mind with this truck. And the second thing that we're gonna look at in this video is the original photo again, but we're gonna dissect it a little more now that we've all had time to look at it and just you know reiterate some things that were said in my last video, but also things that I failed to mention as well. So let's get into it. So guys, links for all these accounts will be down in the description. If you guys like their art, you like their uh, trucks that they did, go head over to their Instagram, show them some love and give them a follow. The first one we're gonna get into guys, I know I just said that all links are down in the description. This one is not, I have no idea who the original source was of this one, but this was one of the first to come out and this truck looks killer. So literally all they did with this was they just took off the lower valence of the front bumper, replaced it with more of a kind of pre-runner looking front bumper. They put some amber headlights up there, some uh, Baja designs it looks like, uh, little pod lights. Uh, what looks to be fuel wheels, I think that's an F right there, with some Coopers. This truck looks killer, it looks so sick. It is a big truck, obviously with this lift on this thing, this thing would probably be six to eight inch lift based on how that, eh, probably a six inch lift. Um, but the front bumper looks good and that's gonna be a theme here as you guys look through these renders that artists have done. Three of these renders that I'm gonna show you guys have chopped off the lower bumper and you kinda get a sense that it's gonna look really good with it chopped off. But this truck looks really good. Uh, whoever the artist was of this, did a really good, really clean job, and that Tundra is definitely gonna look good with some bigger wheels. Going to this next one, guys, this is up my alley. I love this. This is from Ahmed, and he did a killer, killer pre-runner look of the Tundra. So again, they got rid of the lower half of the bumper on this truck. Uh, he did not elect to really do like a uh, skid plate or anything like that, like a pre-runner bumper on this truck. Just literally cut it off, he actually darkened, as you can tell, the lower light bar and added to it under the Toyota Heritage part of the grill. That actually looks really good. That bit wider of a light bar and a kind of smoked look looks very nice on it. He kept the original wheels on this truck, which is why this, this render is just next level, man. He, he kept the original TRD Pro wheels that are coming on this truck. They are 18 inches and he, he just wrapped them in some beefy, beefy tires. Uh, going up to the roof, you can see that there's a light bar on the roof. Um, also, the, the front fenders are still original looking, but it's like he pulled them out to make them mimic fiberglass. It looks really good. And then the whole bed of the truck, the whole back of it is legit fiberglass as well. And you can even tell that he did a little trailing arm down at the bottom too, uh, to link up the rear of the truck. This, this, <laughs> this photo right here looks so, so good. I, I, I really like this one, um, and that's why it's the thumbnail of this video. This, this photo looks absolutely killer from him. Definitely check out his Instagram, it looks really good. The next photos that I got, guys, are from Yoda Mafia. Um, basically, just lifting this truck up, uh, Breland told me that these were 37-inch tires uh, with VTX wheels, so this is a red one. And then we got the lime green, the electric lime metallic. That looks actually really, really good on this truck. And then also uh, just standard white. Uh, it just, you can tell with this truck just being lifted up and this is leaving, you know, the stock bumper. So everything, everything about the truck is absolutely stock. All he did was he just got rid of the wheels, put bigger wheels on this and just kind of lifted the truck up a little bit and it, I mean, obviously it doesn't look amazingly proportionate, but at the same time, it, it gives you an idea of when this truck is lifted and not, you know, stock tiny tires, which those tires are 285s by the way, but the, the truck just looks really good lifted up with some bigger tires. The last one that we're gonna get into guys is from my buddy Lunartic over on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna buy this truck and wrap it in Lunar Rock probably, but uh, he basically put his C4 bumper, everything that he has on his truck, his icons, his Nitto tires, uh, the whole bed rack in the back. He basically just put everything on his Tundra, that's right here, onto a new Tundra, wrapped it in Lunar Rock, 
and it looks really good. I mean, obviously in Lunar Rock, but it looks good with all these pieces on it. Again, chopped off the lower half of the bumper so it's not a whole bunch of plastic, a big old C4 bumper up front, and that, that render right there is a very, very good render too. So appreciate all the artists that have been doing this. More and more renders have been coming out. You know, people slamming the truck, people lifting the truck up high, everything. They looked really, really good. I mean, to me, this truck is a very nice truck from the beginning. Some people don't think so. I really think so. Uh, there's a lot more like for this truck than there is hate, actually. But the ones that do not like it, I hope you guys may like it now with all these renders showing the possibility that the truck is. So now guys, let's go ahead and get into the second part of the video of deep diving into some things that we may have missed, may have overlooked uh, about the actual official released photo from Toyota. All right guys, so getting back into this photo. So as you can see up in the front, the heritage style grill is there. What I failed to mention in my video too is down underneath that radar bar is Tundra. So I did mention that the plastic kind of has like a digital camo look, kind of a forged carbon look. Um, but it does also say Tundra down there. You could tell also that there are parking sensors there too. Um, and a lot of the leaked prototype photos that we saw have those two LED bars flanking that lower valence. So that is most likely where the fog lights are gonna be on every single model of Tundra. As you can see also in this grill, there is a camera there. What I did fail to mention though, and which is 100% solidifying the fact that it is a 360 camera system is right there under the mirror. There is a big, huge camera right under the mirror as well, signifying that this truck is gonna have the full 360 camera view stuff. Um, this truck is supposed to be a very good tow vehicle, so maybe it'll have something cool in that new infotainment screen uh, that kind of mimics Chevy, kind of mimics uh, all these HD trucks to where you could link up cameras to show it through the trailer. You can see down near you while you're towing your vehicle, towing a trailer, whatever you're towing. That'd be cool. And obviously for off-road as well, seeing a whole terrain, especially with a big truck, would be a very nice feature to have. Speaking of that big screen to see it all on, what I did fail to mention too, guys, is in this interior, um, two things to actually, actually now I'm looking, three things to notice in this interior. So one, huge, huge screen right there on the dash. This truck is most likely, and Toyota would be foolish not to, but I'm very, very certain it's gonna be in there, their brand new Entune system that is supposed to replace Entune 3.0. This system has already been talked about on Toyota Newsroom, um, their press room site. It's gonna be a very nice system and guarantee this Tundra is gonna have it. I did also mention the interior, those red leather seats, but look close, I just noticed that the seat belts are red too. So red seat belts with the red seats, kind of a cool touch. Looking up at the back, okay, now I guess four things, guys. <laughs> Looking to the back, as Tundra Dude 34 said, that back window looks like it rolls down. So Toyota is keeping that. Um, you can tell with the contour, with the defroster in the glass, it looks like that back window rolls down just because it kind of curves around it like you would for the motors and everything. Just it, it, it looks like it rolls down um, and it shows kind of the rubber seals and stuff back behind the red seat belt. So it, it definitely looks like it rolls down. Nothing confirmed, but it looks like it rolls down. And then also up at the top too, we can kind of see a little etched line and it looks like a panoramic moonroof, which would be very, very cool because if you had all four windows that could roll down, you know, with it being a four door, you open that panoramic moonroof up, granted only part of it is gonna open up, but you still have glass. And then you roll the back window down too? Dude, that is so sick in a truck. And that, that's one of the things that I love about the Tundra is that back window rolling down. So it definitely, definitely looks like there's a panoramic roof up top with you know nice glass on the whole roof and also it does look like the back window goes down so that's all for the interior coming back to the hood not sure if this is just going to be a trd pro thing or if the other models will say sr5 right there or trd off-road or limited or platinum but these grill vents i mentioned in my last video are kind of like dodge uh, with the hemis but the hemi is actually a little bit more up front this really resembles gmc so the Duramaxes, their heavy duty trucks, have that plastic 
uh, on both sides of the hood and it will say Duramax or Vortec, whatever the motor is. Now the big thing is coming down to the tires too. These are brand new Falcon Wild Peak AT tires. So all-terrain tires from Falcon, a very good tire. Uh, I haven't personally ran them, but I've heard nothing but good about them. Um, which is, it's a step up from the Michelins that were on that truck because they weren't really crazy all-terrains that you would get on a TRD Pro. But now you actually get a legitimate all-terrain tire. There are 285s this time instead of 275, 65, 17. So they're almost a true 33 inch tire. The next thing guys, I just wanna talk about the side real quick of this truck. The side of the truck, a lot of people are saying, looks like a freaking Chevy or a GMC. If you look at the side of the Tacoma, okay, it's not as sharp as this. I do get a Tacoma's a little bit rounder, but if you look at the lower door seals of a Tacoma, it is the same as this truck and that notch in the back door. So the side of this truck really looks like a Tacoma. And back up to the front, I posted this photo on my Instagram, the grill is is Toyota. If you're a Toyota enthusiast and you know what a lot of their cars look like, you you will see Toyota in this truck and not really other brands. So the front is very similar to Forerunner as a lot of people think. Front is very similar to like my wife's RAV4 grill and the Tacoma and it, it looks like Toyota to me through and through. Speaking of the front and going back up to that and I keep bouncing around this truck but the grill underneath the lights right there are functional. So it looks like they are functional because you can see the mesh through it and you can also see like little radiator lines or something like that behind it. So it looks like those are actually functional, which would be kind of cool, you know, if you're mobbing out in the desert and the suspension's getting hot or something or your brakes are getting hot. Uh, I know it's not a race car, but it's still cool to have some air ducted into the wheel well, depending on what the back side of that wheel well looks like. But Cool to have some functional air going through that. They may take that air and put it towards a trans cooler. They may duct it. I got it. They may duct both of those air on both sides of that truck to the two turbochargers since it's a twin turbo truck. So that actually may be where the air goes to right underneath those lights. So that, that is actually probably a pretty good thing to think. One of the last things, guys, and it comes to the back of the truck and, and the wheel wells, people think that these wheel wells are very Chevy, very GMC. These wheel wells, look at this Tundra. This is last gen's Tundra. The wheel wells are like the same. They're just bolded a little bit because they are outlined in black plastic. So the other Tundra models may not look like this. Coming to the back, looks like there is dual exhaust or at least just exhaust that goes out that side of the truck. Um, the uniform bumper, like the bumper is all to the truck. It is not a separate bumper like the old Tundra was. Like this is all body clipped to the truck. And then also looks like there's a little kick down step there that you could use to just, you know, depress your foot on. A little step will come down and you could step up into the bed of the truck. So those are really the only additional things that I've noticed on this photo from Toyota. I guess the big takeaways now after I've seen that those functional vents in the front, most likely directing air to the two turbochargers in that engine, uh, the red seat belts, which was cool, potential panoramic moonroof, rear window that goes down, uh, the big infotainment screen and full 360 camera and also bigger tires are some things to note on this Tundra that I did not talk about really in my last video. So guys, if you are new around here and you are hyped about this Tundra, definitely make sure you subscribe and leave a like. I'd appreciate that. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your guys' support and I will catch you all in the next video. All right, see you later.